praise Jesus. Amen. It is a wonderful moment. Uh, I want to welcome you all in the churches of uh, the service of today. And uh, before we proceed, I would like to give a word of prayer before we start our service. Let's bow and pray. Our Father who art in heaven, there is another moment, Father, we come unto you. We glorify your name as a mighty king, Father. We thank you for each and everything. We thank you for all that you've made us through, O oh, King of Glory. And to this place, O oh, King of Glory, Father, we call of your favor. We call of your power. I want to welcome each and everyone who has gathered over this place, Father, and to your service. Father, Lord, as we are going to proceed, Father, may you dwell among us as O oh, King of Glory. May you release your favor and your, your glory upon each and every one of us, O oh, Lord. As we are going to start, Father, be with us. To the end, Father, we call of your praises. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I do pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. We are going to praise the Lord this morning. Praise God. Amen. We celebrate Jesus, he's a king of kings. We celebrate Jesus, he's a Lord of lords.
Asanti, basi hapa ni Jesus Victory Confirmation Church, Nairobi. Na tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya kujiunga nasi, mchana wa leo, katika ibada hii. Majina yangu ni Refred Wilfred Mutisia, na shukuru mungu kwa neema hii. Nataka ni sungumuze maneno ya mungu kupitia uh, kwa neema ile ambao mungu ametupatia mchana wa leo. And I will be speaking about our link with heaven. Our link with heaven. Allow me to start with a, with a reading of a verse from 1 John chapter 3 and verse 2. 
First John chapter 3 and the first 2. The Bible says, Dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Mandiko inasema ya kwamba, uh, sasa hivi tu watoto wa mungu na aijajulikana vile tutakavyo kuwa. Aijajulikana vile itakavyo kuwa. Amna mtu wakona hii picha. I'm speaking about our link with heaven. Tuko hapa nduniani lakini kwetu ni mbinguni. Tuko hapa nduniani tukiwakilisha mungu. Tuko hapa nduniani kwa mapenzi ya jiova. Tuko hapa nduniani kwa sababu mungu wa na mungu amekumbali tuwe wa akilishu wake hapa nduniani. Kwa hivyo maandiko inasema, Johanna akasema ni upendo wa namna gani. Huu ambao mungu wa kwetu, hili sisi tuitwe wana wake, hili sisi tuitwe wana wa mungu. Na kwa hivyo, hivyo ndivyo ilivyo. Moradi umekumbali ya kwamba Yesu Kristo akutawale dani ya maisha yako. Moradi umekumbali roo mtakatifu aishi ndani yako. Umekumbali utembe na mungu Basi nataka ni kuwakikishie Ya kwamba hapa nduniani ni mapito tu Ya kwamba usija ukaona Yale ambayo yanaendelea hapa na pale e Mistuko na fitu za anjabu Zile zinaendelea Ukakwama hapo Ngependa ili tuamuke zizi wote e Na tujue ya kwamba hapa ni mapito tu tunaelekea and so we are not human beings having a spiritual experience but we are spiritual beings having a human experience as believers we now live our lives in a special relationship with heaven because number one we belong there we belong to heaven we know we know we belong there. Hata kuwe na muna gani. Hata tupitie nini. Hata njanga ije. Ita kuja na itapita. Mapito ya inangani ya je. Yata kuja na yatapita. Lakini tunajua. Ya kwamba kuna maali tunaelekea. Hata tukilia. Hata tukilala nja. Hata tukiumia. Tunajua ya kwamba kuna siku moja. Ampayo inakuja Hili tuende mali ambapo Ni pazuri sana Kuna siku inakuja Ampayo tunajua Tutamuona vile alivyo Maandiko inasema Joana Akatuambia amuna mtu anajua Jinzi itakavyo kuwa Lakini vile itakavyo kuwa Tutajua siku hiyo Tutamuona vile alivyo Kumia ni kwa muda, matatizo ni ya muda, lakini baadaye tutashangilia pamoja na yeye, tutaishi pamoja na yeye, tutamuona vile alivyo, tutashangilia, akitufuta machozi kwa sababu ya mapito yale ampayo tumepitia hapa duniani. Na kwa hivyo watu wa mungu, as we pass through difficult times, as we pass through difficult circumstances, let us know that we belong there. We belong heaven. Heaven is our home. Binguni ndiyo mjiwetu. Philippians chapter 3, verse 20, up to 21. The Bible says, our citizenship is in heaven. And we eagerly await a savior from there. For the Lord Jesus Christ. Who by the power that enable him to bring everything under his control. Will transform our lowly bodies. So that they will be like his glorious body. Na kwa hivyo ata kama mwili utaumia. Ata kama mwili utateswa Ata kama tutapita na mnagani 
e, tunajua ngambo ile tutatokea na mwili wa ushindi e, tunajua ngambo ile tutatokea tukiwa sio kama tulivyo hatutatokea tukiwa wadhaibu hatutatokea tukiwa wakutishwa hatutatokea tukiwa wakulia hatutatokea tukiwa wakuumia tutatokea tukiwa na nguvu e, na tukishangilia kwa sababu ya ushindi ule Bwana atakuwa amefanya na maisha yetu e, maandiko inasema tutabadilishiwa mili e, na kwa hivyo hata kama unapitia ya nini ndani ya mwili wako e, maybe unaumia e, maybe kuna vitu ambavyo unatarajia e, maybe umekunywa madawa e, maybe hiyo nyumba haikaliki e, maybe umeenda wakakufukuza kazi e, maybe umefuta mlango umefungwa e, maybe umekuta vile na vile katika maisha yako e, yani vitu asiendi vizuri e, ningetaka ni kuhakikishie kutoka kwa maandiko e, kutoka kwa bibi ilia ambayo mimi na wewe tunaamini ya kwamba tutabadilishiwa mili ule mwili Yesu alienda mbinguni nao e, mwili wa utukufu e, kitabu cha first corinthians chapter 15 e, maandiko inasema ya kwamba e, kama sio hivyo angetungelijua e, paul angesema ya kwamba ni upusi mtupu e, kama Yesu akufufuka lakini kama Yesu alifufuka e, na akajidhihirisha kwa watu e, watu wengi wakamuona ili ili kila mtu awe na ushuhuda ya kwamba tutabadilishiwa mili wapendwa hata kama tunapitia nini wacha tutumainie hii siku inakuja number two we are enthroned there we are enthroned there The Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 6 and the God raised us with Christ and enthroned us with him in heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. Yaani hata kama tuko duniani hata kama wengine hataki kutuona hata wengine wanatutemanga wengine wanatutupa nje wanatutema wengine tukipitia wanatusengenya wengine tukiwasikia wengine hatuwasikii wengine hata hawataki kusikia majina yetu ikitajwa lakini niko na habari jema ya kwamba kuna mahali kuna ufalme umeinuliwa na tumeinuliwa pia sisi maandiko haisemi tutainuliwa tuwekwa huko kwa ufalme hivi sasa ninavyoongea iwapo umeamini pamoja nami maandiko inasema we have been raised and we have been enthroned there in heaven amen na kwa hivyo watu wa Mungu Mungu wetu na akaweze kuwabariki nitaendelea na ujumbe huu na ninajua Mungu ataenda kuwabariki kwa hivyo ningependa tuombe na ninajua kuna kitu Mungu atafanya katika maisha yako. Inamisha tu kichwa chako tuombe funga macho amini pamoja nami hata kama unapitia nini ndani ya mwili wako ipo siku maandiko inasema Yesu atashika face towel ili atupanguze machozi ya yale ambayo tumepitia ndani ya mwili huu. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo ninasema ni asante mchana wa leo kwa neno lako ambao iko uhai katika jina la Yesu Kristo e, tunainua e, jina lako na ufalme wako zaidi ya ufalme ule mwingine wote e, jina lako iko juu zaidi ya matatizo na mashida yale ambayo e, mwanadamu anayopitia na muinua m- pendwa mikononi mwako e, na inua ndada huyu na ndugu jamii hii e, maisha ya mpendwa huyu na yainua mikononi mwako bwana ukafanye ishara ukafanye muujiza ukafanye la tofauti katika maisha yake mtoe katika hiyo hali katika jina la Yesu Kristo e, nimeamini pamoja na yeye ya kwamba wewe ni mtulisa mbari ya kwamba wewe unabadilisha mambo katika katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana tenda tenda Bwana
tunakuita bwana tenda bwana katika hiyo hali tenda bwana katika hiyo kuungua e, tenda bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo asante bwana maana kutakuwa e, na ushuhuda na mambo yatafanyika katika jina la Yesu Kristo asante kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini Amen. Basi Mungu wetu na wabariki. Napenda niseme hii series itaendelea our link with the heaven. Mungu wetu awabariki sana. Amen. Asante.